This shirt is the shirt, right? Check this out. Okay, let's let's do a full rotation, right? Really premium looking shirt, but the freaking awesome bit is, it's got this mesh fast dry kind of situation. It feels like a gym quick dry t-shirt sewn into it. So you've got a layer, a fast dry layer between your the skin of your belly and your EDC firearm. And I didn't know how comfortable this would be until I tried this shirt on. I actually saw it quite a while ago. Vertex does something similar. What I didn't like about the Vertex one is that their divider line is like somewhere here. So those people who draw from appendix and grab here, pull the whole shirt and t-shirt and everything out. Whereas the Urban Warrior divider line is on top. So you can still go for your proper appendix draw stroke and grab the shirt here. And it's super stretchy. So even if you grab at the bottom of your shirt and pull it up, you can still clear that cover garment. Very cool, but it alludes to another point. I want to talk about comfort and EDC. So at present, let me run you through the gear I've got on my person. Quite a sizable flashlight, the Brenite PT28 Oathkeeper. My cell phone does, I don't care what cell phone you guys have, it's not relevant. A Leatherman Skelly tool. My, my brother's keeper wallet. A Civivi Brigand. Really nice EDC knife. And then on my ankle, in also a product from Urban Warrior, which I'll show you at, with a different shot a bit later on, is a tourniquet holder. I'll show you the tourniquet holder, holder in a different shot with a Recon Medical tourniquet inside of it. And today we're going to explore, can you EDC comfortably and not be too tactically showy? The shoes I'm wearing are the Magnum Off Duty X High. And the reason I'm wearing the highs is because I think we might go for a little walk in the woods. Okay, so first 25 to 35 minute impressions. Having a shirt with a sewn in undershirt like this is infinitely more comfortable than having it just uh, skin against kydex. I, I, and I have to be honest, I often thought, well, how much difference can that little bit of material actually make? It actually makes quite a sizable difference. This has to be my most comfortable concealed carry day or half day of my concealed carry life. Um, that, that, that fast dry mesh material between my skin and the holster, think of it this way. Imagine there are a lot of pokey bits, right? This almost like smooths it out. I still know I've got the holster on, but it's less pokey, less itchy, less scratchy. And the strange thing is, and this is the strange thing when it comes to comfort, you don't know how comfortable something is until you try something more comfortable. So, so previously, carrying the holster the way it was, was like, for me it was comfortable. because. I hadn't experienced anything more comfortable, right? Think of it as if like you have an old bed and it's the only bed you ever had. For you it's comfortable until you get into a brand new bed and you're like, holy shit, that's super comfortable. So carrying like this with a mesh insert or a, a core dry, fast dry insert between my skin and the holster, I'm going to go ahead and say first impressions, first 30 minutes, it's probably a good 70 to 80 percent more comfortable than carrying without it um, in terms of heat management i'm not hot i'm not cold it's quite a hot day it's a bit breezy today but um, i've got the top button down well not the, the not the complete top button the mid the, the high button i've got down the the second button i've still got uh, tied maintaining high standard as edc as should and um very comfortable shirt is stretchy so i'm getting airflow and it's breathing nicely really really good garment so far and from the outside it just looks like a really premium quality shirt ankle carrier um ah, this is the second time recording this because the first time i forgot to mention the ankle carrier because i forgot i had it on so michelle just reminded me to talk about the ankle carrier so the ankle carrier from a concealment and a comfort perspective 
is freaking outstanding. I literally forgot I had it on, which could be a good or a bad thing, depending. You got to be if you need to turn it, you want to remember you have it there. But on the other side of the coin, it's nice that it's so comfortable that um, that I forgot I had it on. So that is first 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes of, of this gear. I'm pretty much all Urban Warrior today. Uh, Urban Warrior, UC Mask, uh, Urban Warrior shirt. I don't even know what the shirt's called. Urban Warrior Infiltrator Pants and then the Urban Warrior Ankle Carrier. I don't even know what it's called. So pretty much all Urban Warrior and then the shoes are non-hiking boots but still quite tactically inclined magnum off duty x so let's go for a walk and see what we uncover guys we are about 40 minutes into a little hike walk through the woods the shirt hella comfortable the best definitely the best concealed carry comfort assistant that um, that I've had so far excluding holsters belts that sort of thing this is one of the the most impactful comfort items that I've gotten so far the shirt is as you can see the quality the look is really good it's a very high level shirt and as Eddie said we, we maintain high level so so far very impressed I'm not particularly sweating I've got my mask off because there's no one around and I'll put it on as and when I'll, I'll maintain um, discipline and respect for those people who come near to me in in uh, acknowledgement of the COVID situation but um, so far the shirt high level the pants you guys all know the infiltrate the pants is an ultra high quality pants the stretch, the movement capability is outstanding. I have to be honest, I'm more than impressed with what Magnum have done with the, the off-duty boots. I'll try to get the shot of the, 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 the grip underneath the sole. But very comfortable walking boot. As I said, we're about 30, 40, 30, 40 minutes in. And I'm not noticing a substantial difference between this and a, shall I say, a hiking slash trail shoe. Very comfortable, very tight. Uh, it's a very grippy tacky. So, I'll let Michelle pan out with the camera, but as you can see, excluding the backpack, we've got high level, we're maintaining high level when it comes to EDC, but we're not showy when it comes to EDC, right? You could wear this pretty much anywhere, no one's going to pick out that you are carrying a gun, a knife, a flashlight and all the other kind of things. So, really cool, um, I'll continue to test, we'll continue to sort of pop in as we walk through the woods. We're in Kirsten Bosch, beautiful Cape Town, beautiful day. It's about 26, 27 today and it's it's just perfect. Now about an hour into our walk I will be honest we've walked past the same thing a few times um, but I really just want to put this gear through its paces the Magnum boots legend for for something that you can wear um, that is not hiking boot looking I think it's freaking awesome I'm not I'm not struggling at all um, the grip is there the comfort is there it doesn't have the same support of a boot but I think you'd consider this more of a trail shoe ankle support wise the shirt guys I don't know what to say about the shirt the shirt is a must-have uh, it's not cold today by any means the shirt is quite breathy while maintaining uh, dryness because of that fast dry material really cool we're going uphill that's Michelle, she's a beast, I can't keep up.
to do this, okay? If you do see it, be a good EDC, pick that guy up, put it in your backpack, or whatever it is, and trust the right way when you get to a, um, a bin or a refuse uh, facility or something like that. Really, I mean, out in the woods, honestly, unnecessary. So we're about almost two hours in. I'm finished with walking for today. A couple of things I just want to talk about. Firstly, it is summer, sun's out, bugs out. If you are going to come sit on a log like I'm sitting on EDC flashlight, just check underneath the log, especially underneath the backside of the log to make sure that there are no uh, bitey bugs. So guys, watch your sausage and eggs because that will be a long day. Um, with regards to gear, right? I am dressed in such a way that I could go pretty much anywhere casually, right? If I wanted to go to the mall, I could go to the mall and it's outfit. If I wanted to go hike, I could go hike. If I wanted to go to a, a in South Africa, we call it the evening braai. In a, the US and the UK, they call it the barbecue. I would look fine. I'm wearing casual gear. The shirt, Urban Warrior. The pants, Urban Warrior. The boots, Magnum. Now, I'm not going to show my holster and firearm because there are certain places you can't carry those things and that, and that gives me in this video deniability. Um, for those of you who want to know what it is or would have been, you choose. It is the Southwest Holsters Rattler with, excuse me, the Olight Balder Mini with a plus two base plate on the primary mag and a Magpul 17 round mag on the secondary. Uh, left pocket, Brunet flashlight. Right pocket is my Zavivi Brigand. Back pocket is going to be a Leatherman Scully tool, which I'll get for you in a second. Leatherman Scully tool and then in my utility pocket of my Urban Warrior Infiltrator is a Wi-Fi router because reasons and my MBK wallet. Now something I am forgetting is the Urban Warrior tourniquet holder. I have again forgotten it because I don't really feel like I'm carrying it. Yeah, I'm carrying it. So it is very comfortable. I'll lift my, my pants up a bit. It sort of comes down to your ankle which is fine, it's actually more comfortable like that, right? Um, and there's the tourniquet, readily available, and then you've got this compression strap over here with a red tassel on just in case your hands are sweaty or full of blood, which you can compress, and then just bring your pants over it. These things go well with Urban Warrior pants because the Urban Warrior pants are sort of a straight cut, more, I hate using this word, more tactical straight cut, so you've got a bit of extra room down in the leg. but. As you can see, I'm very capable. Oh, the sunglasses, don't forget. Very important. Sunglasses, Wiley Xaber Advanced. There it goes. You know how I do with my sunglasses. The cap, there are 15 of these available, 15 or 20, and then they will never be available again. This is a removable gear patch. Let me know and I'll look you up if you want one. So, gear-wise, I have everything I need and nothing I don't need, and I'm comfortable. I'm not struggling. I'm not like... Like thinking, oh, this thing around my leg is terrible, this shirt is too hot, everything feels fine. If, it, if the shirt does, does get too hot, I can drop the top button and that button. So I can drop the top three buttons to get some air in you if you want. And no one can tell that I've got a mesh undercover garment. Also guys, belt, core essentials. SA Tactical Institute, big shout out, I think they bring it out soon here in South Africa. Very cool belt, I'll do a review soon. Final thoughts. There is some great gear here in South Africa. The thing I like about Urban Warrior, and I'll get Michelle to zoom in if she can on the label. I don't know if you guys can see it. Made in Cape Town, South Africa. Right? I appreciate American gear, overseas gear is awesome. No doubt about it. I love some American gear. But if you are a person wanting to support local, the gear is right here. I'm testing it. This isn't fake. I can't. F I don't have. I don't have a backyard this big. I'm not faking it. You've seen the footage. I've been walking. I'm comfortable. You'd see it in my face if I wasn't comfortable, right? I'm chilled. I can continue to do this. Although, I'm not a big hiker. I have to be honest. I enjoy camping. Michelle loves hiking, but she's got beast legs. I'm just getting shots of Michelle's legs. They look like freaking petrol pumps. Anyway, long story short, the Urban Warrior shirt is going to be available super soon, probably in this week if you're watching some data review which will be the 1st of November um, it'll be available really soon I'll let you guys know on my Facebook or Instagram feed uh, if you're not following me on YouTube obviously and then the tourniquet holder as well I'll also let you know um, 
So if you want to check those out as soon as possible, I'm going to be running a competition with Urban Warrior as well, where you could win pretty much anything, any two items you see on me right now, something like that. So if you aren't following me everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, I'm EDC for the EDG everywhere. If you are following me everywhere, please consider supporting another EDC channel because we all need your support right now. I'm going to get back to my Jeep, um, go home, probably get into a pool of some sort. So Michelle didn't have enough. She wanted to continue going. We are now, it's, it's like got to be close to, what is it like? Two, I don't even know how long we've been out here. Two and a half, three years, I'm not even 100% sure. I think we've walked past everything this place has to offer now, I'm joking. We probably haven't seen like a tenth of it, but I do feel like I've seen the same thing twice. Um, those of you who don't know, like Michelle is like one of those freaking bodybuilder kind of people. She's not a bodybuilder, but she has like like muscles. One day I'll get like a naked shot of her coming out of the shower and you'll see it's freaking crazy. Anyway, so we... Um, she can just go for days, like she like can run 10 kilometers without do doing a single jog in like three, four months. I on the other hand, as an asthmatic, making my tactical excuse there, do struggle a bit, but um, don't tell her this. We had three energy bars and I think we only have one left. Hey, no, I'm not saying anything, baby. Nothing, nothing. We have one left and I'm gonna have it. Between me and you, she doesn't watch my videos. At least, I don't, at least I don't think she does, so like, don't tell anyone. So when Michelle um, was trying to get like a ridiculous shot, she was like in the bushes. She loves that shit. I don't know how I feel about it. And I think she like dug her hand into like a thorn or something. She's just getting some antiseptic cream and a plaster out of my backpack. Shame the poor thing. I feel no sympathy. 